It's the moment we're all waiting for XRP, the price to go up. When's that going to happen? What are the factors that have to be in play? What has to happen? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to take a look at the current price of XRP and have a dialogue around the issues, the lawsuit and all there, you know, there that there is in this scenario. So thanks for your time. Let's uh, let's take a look at what's going on right now. XRP is down about 2.4% at 42 cents. Okay. So the overall crypto market is down three plus percent. Bitcoin is, has moved below 27,000 to 26,000 and change. Ethereum has moved as well. I believe let's take a look. Yeah, it did cross down below 1800. Okay. So the situation playing out with XRP is the, what we all know, we're waiting on the SEC lawsuit settlement. All of the information we have says that, that it is going to go XRP's way. Will XRP ultimately win that lawsuit? Um, we, nobody really knows the, 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 the true bottom line, right? We're all speculating at this point in time. But this has been ongoing for two plus years. And we know that the day that this thing goes down, the day it's settled, the day it's announced, XRP will explode. Here's the scenario that I think is going to play out. I think that it's going to be a negotiated truce, if you will. I think between Ripple and the SEC, number one, I think that that personally I think that's what's happening right now. I personally think behind closed doors, they are negotiating those terms so that the SEC can basically pull themselves out of the situation. I think that when they grappled with Ripple, they didn't realize that Ripple was going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars in fighting this and that they had deep pockets and all those different kinds of things. With that said, I think that they want to settle this. I think that they want to have this be resolved. The SEC does. It continues to languish and continues to be a thorn in their side. Ripple, we all know, continues to do business globally. And, and uh, the price of the XRP token itself has been kept down because of this ongoing scenario playing out. Fundamentally, what's going to come out of this is that how is, how is Ripple, excuse me, how is XRP going to be defined? Is it going to be a commodity? Is it going to be a security? Again, I think that that's part of the settlement because therein lies the true bottom line scenario, how XRP is defined, whether it is a defined as a commodity or as a security sets the framework and sets the bedrock for how almost all crypto is going to be defined or classified on a go forward basis. Everybody's talked about the fact that Bitcoin is going to be defined as a commodity. There's discussion of whether or not Ethereum is or is not and all that kind of stuff. But this is groundbreaking um, uh, le, um, you know, uh, information here of, of whether or not it's going to, you know, of, of what the classification of XRP will be. Okay. So when is XRP going to start rising? When the lawsuit settled, obviously when it, when this negotiated, in my opinion, this negotiated truce <laughs> ceasefire, if you will, goes down. All the indicators are is that it should be happening sometime in the first half of this year. Well, that's through the end of June. That's the end. That's six months. And that's what we're all waiting on. That is the moment we've been waiting for. I'm waiting for it. I own XRP. I want this bad boy to go up. So with that said, thank you for your support. My, that was just my thoughts. I'll see you. Have a good one. Take care.